what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. Going to bring you a classic tune right now. It's very got that jazzy, loungy swing thing. The swing thing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, thanks for spending some time with me. Also, thanks for subscribing to this new channel of mine. I've got a lot of lessons planned for you, and I can't wait to uh, unveil them all as we progress along and hang out. Um, that's it. So let's zoom in, though, and break this one down. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna, I'll show you two different options. Cause the way I play these minor seven chords, not everyone uh, is comfortable with those. Uh, so the first way I'll show you is an A minor seven, which we bar the fifth fret, and then ring finger goes up a whole step on the A string like this. Then I just move it up a whole step, so. Then that third chord, which you could actually survive without playing the third chord at all, you could go. But that third chord's fun, and I'm playing a C major seven chord, which goes like this. Index finger goes on the root, which uh, it's not the most important note for this part, but anyway, the, the chord shape I'm using has the root with the index finger on the eighth fret, and then middle finger is on the eighth fret of the B string. So the index and middle finger are on the same frets. Then ring finger and pinky are on the ninth fret of the D and G respectively and my palm's muting the high E. But if it got in there, it's part of the chord. However you can do that. So watch, so you have the A minor seven, B minor seven, C major seven, back to B minor seven. And then there's a, a jazz bass line going. feel is swing, it's swinging. Now the first two chords, the A minor seven to the B minor seven, I play them a different way. I play them with my middle finger on the root. Then I'm using my ring finger to cover the D, G, and B string on that same fret. So the A string's just kind of muted out by my middle finger. And I'm not barring all the way across to get the high E. If you did get the high E in there, that's fine.
the change is D minor seven. So you bar that fifth fret and then it looks like an A minor shape. So five barred, seven on the D, six on the B. Seven, A minor, seven, D minor, E Hendrix, then back. So you've got that D minor seven, back to A minor seven, then uh, D minor seven, A minor seven, same thing again, then hits on D. Then E7 sharp 9, also known as E Hendrix chord, which is middle finger on the 7 of the A, index on the 6 of the D, ring on the 7th of the G, and then pinky on the 8th of the B. Now, if that's hard, you can play E7. But that's cooler and jazzier. Next part. Or that way. D. E. E. there was the lesson thank you for watching uh, if there's a song you'd like to learn or a lesson that you'd like me to help you with go ahead and like this video and leave a comment and let me know uh, also once again thank you so much for subscribing to this channel I can't wait to show you all the things I have in store it's gonna be a lot of fun and thank you for that support uh, until then we'll see you later